given your standards. You need to eat better food. If it fills me up, it's good enough. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You helped facilitate his neat lifestyle, didn't you? You, you neat enabler! Huh? Me? Couldn't you have gotten him a job or something? Was that also directed at me? I don't see anyone else looking after him. Why am I suddenly under attack here? That's pretty much your role, right? You're the group punching bag. But in a we're all best friends kind of way. And here I thought the punching bag was my hard-earned money. Reiji, that was a delicious meal. Thank you very much. Figures. The person who ate the least is also the only one decent enough to thank me. This world's gone crazy. Don't be so stingy. You've got infinite money. You're an adult. Oh, so now that I'm footing the bill, I'm a proper adult, huh? Well, you better start respecting your elders, boy. Oh, yeah, Reiji. Did you ever read that thank you letter from the Bureau? What did it actually say? Right. I completely forgot. Huh? There's a lot in there. And they've got our names on them. Yeah. There's one page for each of us. So they wrote us each a thank you note? What does it say? This is a formal warning regarding the handling of delusions without permission from the proper authorities. That's not a thank you card. Stupid is what it is. You are hereby advised that any further association with delusions in any capacity will be seen as a violation of the Delusion Control Act, hereafter DCA, and measures will be taken against you. I've never heard of any Delusion Control Act. It's gotta be bogus. <laughs> Who do they think they are? They think they're the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Ruling. And unfortunately, they're right. So in other words... We're poised to become enemies of the state. I've been running for so long. Pretending to be an adult, but running away from my problems like a child. What's reality, and what's delusion? Even now, I'm not really sure. And I'm still as scared as I've ever been. But I have been released in other ways. I'm not pretending to be more grown up than I really am anymore. I struggled to the bitter end. And I wasn't really able to become the adult I thought I was supposed to be. But I did find my answer. From the very start, there was never any reason for me to be afraid. What time is it? Hello? Seriously? Hello is all you have to say for yourself? Mizuki? What time is it? 2.17 p.m. Good morning, Asahi Van Winkle. <laughs> Good morning. At least I know you're up. I wanted to let you know that we're all gathered at Akemi's. I'm sorry. I'll be right over. No sense in hurrying now. Honestly, I'm not surprised. You didn't sleep a wink yesterday, did you? Um, didn't I? You don't even remember? You looked like the walking dead yesterday, exhausted beyond all reason. I just did you the favor of assuming you hadn't slept. Guess old Daybreak Asahi's up to his old tricks again. You might be right. I'm pretty sure I don't remember sleeping. Anyway, we'll be here whenever you do arrive. Just try not to take any shortcuts or get sidetracked on your way. Yeah, yeah. I'll be there soon. Later.
sorry I'm so late. I'm just impressed you managed to sleep this long. You're the neat little baby needs wish they could grow up to be. Now, now. So, what do we do now? Personally, I have zero recollection of doing anything that made me an enemy of the state. Still, after being served to the threat that bold, there's no way we can move about with impunity anymore. I don't know what we can do. <sighs> damned if we do, damned if we don't. Should we do or don't, then? That is the question. Oh, don't scrunch up those youthful faces like that. Uh, Kemi? You know what we've never done? We've never properly introduced ourselves to one another in a round. Are you looking at me? That's right. Mizuki, is it? I believe this is the first time we've ever actually spoken to one another. Isn't this kind of a bad time? Not at all. Would you mind telling me a little about yourself, Mizuki? Uh, okay, sure. I'm Mizuki Aihara, a sophomore in college. I've been friends with Asahi since elementary school. I like to read, I work part-time as a private tutor, and uh, my dreams for the future include... We get it. Next! Sorry? Now it's my turn. I'm Ryu Mimose, age 14. My hobby is collecting pink things, and I hate bugs. And my dream for the future is to become a top idol. When I do, I hope to bring smiles to every man, woman, and child on the planet and cheer everybody up. Though I guess that's more delusion than dream, huh? Still, I'm going to try anyway, starting right here in Akihabara. I think that's a wonderful dream, Ryu. And Yamato, uh, I do believe you're next. Huh? Come on now, don't be shy. I'm Yamato Hongo, age 16. You're 16? Oh, shut up. And my hobbies are... I'm watching anime, we know. Are you still trying to pretend you're not shooting? The hell's that supposed to mean? I'll bet your dream for the future is just to watch more anime. No, it's not. Really, I actually want to be a scriptwriter. Or a playwright or something. Write the most interesting stories in the world. Wow, that's the first I've heard of that, Yamato. I'm hoping I can get my works played or performed all throughout Akihabara someday. So you can let your chuny flag fly high, I take it. What? Like your dreams are any better? How about you go next, Sonata? Katomi Sonata, age 17. Let's see. My favorite food is manju buns. Getting a jump start on the gnarled old hag thing, I see. You shut the hell up! And Katomi, what are your dreams for the future? I... Hmm. I've actually never thought about it. Well, you're a big fan of dolls, right? I make no secret of that. Perhaps I could become a doll maker. There are lots of doll shops in Akiba, so the market does exist, at least. I'd say that's a very achievable dream for you, Katomi. I don't know if I'd call it a dream myself. Feels like more of a delusion. How about you? Who, me? Yes, of course. If we were all going around talking about ourselves, your turn was going to come up eventually. Y yeah I guess you're right. Well, I'm Saki Hoshino, age 18. My hobby? was really just nullifying delusions. I've never done much else. I've always dreamed about protecting the world. But of course, now I know how silly I was. So I guess my dream now is just to find a new dream. <sighs> Are you for real? I don't think it's that outlandish. Akihabara seems like a great place to find new dreams, if you ask me. Eh, I've heard worse. Finding your true